Newgrass News Flash um, for all you non independently wealthy people. You do not need to go spend a bunch of money on new tools. Don't want to be a knucklehead about this. We're supposed to be doing this on a budget. You don't need to go out and spend three, four, five hundred dollars uh, on a drill press. You know, sometimes you got to punch holes and steel. That's what I need to do right now. And uh, I got, I, I, I use those skills that I use. You know, when you're laying up in the bed every night, you're supposed to be going to sleep, so you're fresh for work. If you're looking through Facebook, you're scrolling a million times, looking for that deal on that car, that old car. Uh, use some of those skills. Get out there and look for some tools. I had to drive 35 miles, 70 miles round trip, but I can tell you that I found a sweet deal. The guy had just marked it down on Marketplace to $60. I bought this drill press for $60. And you know what? Look, oh, that's the light. It works, okay? I put a little Christmas light bulb in there because that's all I had. Anyway, lighting works. So, you know what? Um, don't be a schmuck. Don't go spend all your money. You can invest it somewhere else. Shoot, save some money, buy a used tool, and go do something nice for your wife or your husband or your ladies out there that are building cars. So, uh, uh, you know, I like, a, I like it when my wife brings me a box of chocolate covered cherries once in a while. It's a nice little treat. Uh, anyway. Um, one thing I heard, I heard this from, uh, Dan on DD speed shop, you know, you always got to have a little bit of cash on hand. So when you see a deal, you can jump on it. So keep a little cash in your sock drawer. That's what he said. And, uh, that kind of stuck with me because as soon as I saw the guy mark this down, I was on it. I was on the road and I got it. just like you do with the car. Do the same thing with tools, man. I mean, this drill press right here at Harbor Freight is probably... $500. You know, I spent 60 bucks on it. It's going to work just fine. What I need to do is punch some holes in some steel plate. I'm working on a stand for one of my grinders and uh, I'll get back to you. I want to clean this up a little bit and lube it up before I do anything with you, but I'll show you how well it works. Okay, Shazam. That sucker cleaned up good, didn't it? It looks pretty, pretty dang good for 60 bucks. So um, I'm overly impressed. I, I've got everything adjusted. Did a little research on what speed. This is a variable speed. You change the belt, yada, yada, yada. Um, I went ahead and punched one hole. I'm going to go ahead and punch another hole in here, but I'm going to get you up close so you can see how this is happening. This is definitely, number one, a tool to have. And number two, buy it used. Don't buy it new. Don't be a knucklehead. Okay, uh, I am out of foil, so I'm going to use a little WD-40. It's going to smoke. I'm sure I'll have a bunch of comments on this, but I want to, want to show you how great this is working. I'm actually going with a bigger hole, but I want to punch a smaller hole first and then go up. So here we go. That is awesome. Man, you gotta get one of these. 